get letters. We get stacks and stacks of letters. What world leader has the best facial hair? I can't imagine any better than Tsar Nicholas II of Russia, but I'd like to hear from a true historical expert. It's hard to think of anything much sharper than uh, Wilhelm II's moustache. Now, Abraham Lincoln grew his beard uh, intentionally, right, in response to it. And then that one, that in response to a request from our schoolgirls, I remember, that one worked out rather better, didn't it? I think the moustache-free beard is one of America's worst contributions. <laughs> but it worked for Lincoln. I've never liked that beard, but I'm glad you mentioned it. All of this discussion of hair, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it is, is really making me feel like th that I'm losing my self-esteem a little bit. I'm going to have to retreat to my safe space now. <laughs> it's well known that HR models himself on the character of Kurtz in Apocalypse Now, as played by Marlon Brando. Like a snail crawling on a razor's edge. I do not know what horror means. Horror. The horror. <laughs> <laughs> we